Hello, Missouri Mama here. My name is Nina, and we are going to start a series of videos. It's a small series, and I'm making something for when I have my new craft room. So to start off, I'm going to dust some of these molds with a chameleon powder I got from Timu. It is green, blue, purple chameleon powder. And this is a trinket dish. It has a lid, the dish, and then it has the little bow, and then the skull came with a uh, resin I had gotten, and I wanted to add it on there to kind of, I don't know, make it look cute. And I just really wanted to add the skull on there, so <coughs> that is what I'm going to do. So I'm just dusting this little, this is like the lid, that the and the bow goes on top of it. So I'm dusting that with this gorgeous chameleon powder. It is super pretty. Really easy to do. It goes in those grooves really good. So, super fun. This is just a cheap makeup brush. They work really good for getting the chameleon powders in. I find that I like makeup brushes better than paint brushes to do this because they're softer and they just tend to lay it down a little bit better. And now I'm kind of folding it inside out to kind of make sure I get into all the little grooves and little tiny spaces better because I want good coverage. And see, I'm just kind of dusting it everywhere, making sure I get everything covered. And um, please excuse the state of my heat mat. It is a mess, so messy. But I think that's a part of crafting. So, yeah. I did end up using a lot of this little bottle of chameleon powder, but I mean, it goes so far. So, I got it for a really good price on Timu. Um, and this one is really shifty. The brand is a really weird name. Ocho. Rise, Arkarawin, I don't know, it's really weird, but it's like a five gram bottle and it goes a long ways, I've used it in a lot of projects and it, it looks amazing. This is one of my favorite color ones that I use. I like that the blue is so is like the main color to it because blue is my favorite color so I'm just dusting this thing really trying to make sure I get good coverage it looks sheer right now but whenever it has black behind it it just looks amazing so now I'm trying to push it inside out without touching where the chameleon powder is because I don't want to take any off with my fingers I'm just pushing it all in. You can't see me, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then I'll lay it down. I might dust a little bit more just to make sure I didn't create any cracks in there. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Because sometimes when you're flipping your mold out, you can make cracks in the where the powder's been dusted. So just going through making sure I didn't create any gaps or cracks or move the powder around. I'm trying to remember to pay attention to if I'm in frame or not, so. I don't know why I'm still going at it. I'm pretty sure it's covered. <laughs> my, finally, now I'm going to dust this little skull. The skull is so cool. It has really good details and it comes out looking amazing. I really love this mold. I have another set of resin that's supposed to have this mold in it coming. And I've seen it on Timu and it's like a dollar. So if you see it on there, it's a cool one to get. And it's only a dollar. So that's a pretty good price. And it pops out pretty easy. And it picks up really good details. So, which you'll see when I demold it. It looks really cool. Yeah, so I'm going to put this one up, and then I'm going to grab this really gorgeous, like, blue mica. And it 
doesn't have a name on the bottle. I got it from Amazon. Um, I have no idea what the brand name is or the shade name. It's just one I got from Amazon. It's a really pretty color and I'm going to use that in the bow mold that comes with the trinket tray. So all the parts come together except for the little skull. The little skull is just me wanting the skulls everywhere. So I'm going to dust part of the part of the bow mold bow mold because it has like a bigger bow and then a smaller bow and then a heart and so I'm trying to dust the bow the smaller bow which you can't see because I am off camera and I'm so sorry but this mica is super sparkly and super pretty colored It looks like sh it looks very sheer when dusted, but it's really dark when it leaves to the in resin. So I haven't figured out quite the best way to use it. It's super pretty. It's kind of bigger flakes than what a lot of monsters are that I find for resin. So maybe that's why it's a little weird. But it's really pretty. I like the color and the sparkle in it. So I'm trying to dust it on there and I'm making a huge mess trying to get it layered on there good. And I'm going to take a baby wipe and I'm going to try to clean off that heart where I got a little bit of mica in. Because I, I don't want the blue on the heart. If I can keep it off of there, I want to. So I'm trying to clean that up. And with a baby wipe. Baby wipes do work pretty good for getting mica off of silicone molds. So then I'm just trying to make sure I get into the groove real good, get it nice and clean. So this part of it took so long. Alright, so here I messed up real bad. Um, I mixed my resin and then something happened and I had to take my gloves off and go deal with the situation. And by the time I got it dealt with and came back, I was freaking out that my resin was going to set up in the cup. And I completely, pretty much my anxiety got the better of me. And I didn't think I'll put my gloves back on. I didn't think of any of that. I just kind of grabbed the resin and started pouring it. Um, my phone had been recording the whole time. So there was like an hour worth of footage that I had to delete. Yeah. So don't pull uh, me and make sure you wear your gloves because it was very stupid of me to not wear my gloves. But this is just some resin with some black pigment paste in it and um, yeah, I'm just pouring that where I put the um, chameleon powder and so I probably shouldn't be posting this video but I did want you guys to see how amazing this turned out and to say that I messed up I should have worn gloves and I'm very well aware of that um, I beat myself up for quite a while for not wearing gloves because as soon as I was done pouring I realized what I did um, the situation just it had me completely flustered. It was pretty messed up. So, not an excuse. Just I should have been. I should have put gloves on. But my mind right wasn't in the best place at the moment, and I was in a hurry and panicking and stressed. So I made a dumb decision. Well, I didn't really make the decision. I just that was the problem. I didn't think. I was in a hurry. I was flustered, but you should always wear gloves. 
here I am pinching the mold, trying to make sure I get all the air bubbles out so I can get nice results. Because this thing does trap a lot of air in it. I don't know why. And that's so bad. Trying to dodge the little resin seals there. See, I'm still getting major bubbles popping out. It's crazy how much air gets trapped in this thing. Okay, I'm trying to be careful not to get resin on my fingers. Here's are getting a little bit thicker than normal. It's usually pretty thin. But it did feel like it was starting to thicken up. And I think this is the first time I tried that skull mold, so I wasn't sure how if it trapped bubbles real bad or not. That's why I was tapping it out. Turns out it really doesn't trap bubbles bad. Like you don't it, it actually does a really nice job. So I'm just trying to make sure that I have everything filled nicely. I overfilled the skull a little bit so I was pulling out some of that resin. So it would look nice when I do mold it. And I'm going to hit the big bubbles with a lighter. Never get them popped. And I think I hit the other one with a little bit as well. I just have some, I had more resin in another cup. That's part of why I was trying to hurry because I had mixed up enough resin for all of the projects. Alright, so now I'm going in with that pigment and mixing it into some resin. I'm just going to tap, tap. It's so flaky that it's really light and it kind of goes up into the air a little bit. Just trying to mix some of that into some resin. Just a little mixy, mixy. I see some of the sparkles still falling. I don't know why I keep going off camera again, I'm sorry. Hopefully I come back soon. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so this, these projects, that it's going to be a couple of videos long. It took me so long to like, finish the idea. Because like, the idea kept changing and like I don't know evolving in my head <laughs> I don't know if anybody else ever does that like you get an idea and then like it keeps changing and shifting and yeah it took me a while to like finish on an idea and then even as I was doing it it was still evolving and changing and yeah and I'm not even finished yet but I have to I have to get the videos off of my phone so I have room <laughs> to finish this project. <laughs> so yeah. Um, where'd I go again? I disappeared again. <laughs> um, okay, I was just mixing for some reason. So now I'm going to grab some more resin. And I'm going to mix in my white iridescent chunky glitter. Yeah, there we go. I got that from Amazon as well. This poor bottle is almost gone. I'm pretty sure when I'm done with the project, there's nothing left in the bottle. I don't even think I have enough to finish out. I'll do some of my other white iridescent glitter. So 
so I'm going to mix that now too. Almost on camera. Not quite. Now I go off camera. Apparently, I don't want you guys to see me mixing. <laughs> so what I was saying is, they've been really fun to do though. I've had a lot of fun trying to, like, I don't know, just come up with what I'm doing and then like the as it evolves, it's just. I don't know. It's been cool. It's been fun and challenging and fun at the same time. It's been really fun. It's been awesome. And the finished product so far is amazing. I'm in love with it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Hopefully, you guys love it as much as I do. It's not perfect, but it's gorgeous. So here I was like, eh, I think it needs a little more glitter. And that's really what she used. See through. <laughs> that made it more sparkly. So this project has taken so long. Partially because there's been so much going on behind the scenes in my house. So that's been part of it. The other part is is there is a lot of steps <laughs> between the Oh sorry the pouring and all of that and then I did do a lot of rhinestones and adding stuff and yeah and so many pieces to the finished product like the finished thing because there's I think it's gonna be five or six I think there's six total videos this one project but in the end it's oh it's so worth it it's so pretty so here I poured that one I poured some white and then I poured some of that blue and then I poured some more white it actually creates a really pretty effect too when I did this, I wasn't sure quite what it was going to do. But I was hoping that the blue mica would help keep the glitter from all sinking. Because I didn't want it to be like glitter rimmed and then clear. <laughs> so that would have just been like, what? <laughs> Today I'm just trying to make sure that I don't have any air pockets down on the sides anywhere. Because that's also something that would suck and ruin something. Ruin the project that I'm working on. I'm going to add some more blue to fill it up. Or at least close to up. I don't know, this is one of the first ones that I actually did. So it's been a little while. also did something different for the um, finished product like for the finished video of the project I took a video of them outside in the sunlight and oh my god so pretty I just love them and they're gonna look so cool in my new room whenever I get it and I'm so excited for that because then I should be able to I don't know should be a lot easier to do so much more <laughs> that's the plan anyways so here I'm trying to fill up that little bow that you saw that goes on the top of this I'm trying to add in as much of that white that's left in there goofy scrapey trying to pull out as much of the resin as I can And I didn't get it quite filled up all the way. So I had a little bit just spilled over. 
Try to clean that up. So I'm still trying to scrape it out and get as much as I can out. I think I'm almost done. I see a little blue line. That's why we wear gloves. I accidentally bumped the container with the blue. I, I did that. That's why you should always wear gloves. Because you never know. And you really shouldn't be getting this stuff on your skin. So here I decided to just take what's left of the blue and just wrap it right in the middle of that. Swirly, swirly. You can't really see what I'm doing, but you will in a moment. I just dropped that down towards kind of the middle of the white so the blue wouldn't take over too much was kind of the plan the idea so there we go I've got all of them filled up And then I let them cure. Might still be trying to scrape some more out. I don't know. Yeah, apparently I was. So then I let them cure. I think I put them. Um, I don't know if I put all four in my curing machine or not. But I know I put some of it in my curing machine to get it to cure faster. Because I'm impatient. And I wanted to see how it came out. Um, these molds did come from Amazon. They were so cool. Even the little skull came from Amazon. It was in a resin kit that I got. But I have seen it on Timu. I'm sure you can get it many other places. It's fairly cheap too. On Timu it was like a dollar. so I'm sure it's pretty cheap other places as well. Depending on where you prefer to shop. So I'm sure eventually I give up on trying to scrape this cup out. Alright, so everything is cured now. Tappy, tappy, tappy. So, here's that skull. When you're first trying to figure out how to get it out, it's kind of rough. But once you start... Once you've made as many as I have now, you kind of figure out how to just pop it out. So, yeah. That's my first time trying to demold it. And I was like, uh, what's the best way to get it out without tearing up the mold? So I was being extra careful. Now I just kind of push on it and pop it out. So this is what it looks like. It looks so cool. The details are super neat of how it turns out. So there's the little skull. And then I can demold this double bow thing. So this is pretty easy to demold. It catches a little bit inside the loops, but not bad. I think the bigger one I do in another video it might be the one that's a little bit harder but it's still not hard like if that makes any sense it's harder but it's not hard it just sticks a little bit more so there we go I just take it out and then I make sure to put my mold back the right way so it doesn't mess it up 
So that's how that's looking. Looks super cute. Fix my mold because I don't want it to warp. I'm going to set it aside. Now this is the lid. This is what sits on top of the trinket thing. And it kind of looks, it has like this ruffle look to it. It looks really cool. It does look really pretty in the multi-chrome. Okay, I'm just trying to go through around the edge and make sure it's popped loose pretty good. Hoping that I don't have a bunch of air bubbles everywhere. I think I did end up having like one or two. Maybe more, I don't remember, but I know there was like a good size one. Somewhere that I was like bummed out about, but in the end it looks fine. I think I ended up patching it with a little bit of resin. But it looks really pretty. The ruffles really make the chameleon powder pop. So there I'm just showing you how the bow goes on and how I want to put the skull. Because remember the skull wasn't part of this. That was my own touch. I decided that it needed something a little bit more me. So skulls it is. And I thought that was super cute. And easier to grip than the bows. So now to do the actual like container part. These you have to be careful with because the resin can create a rim around that the lip of that and not this one but another one of them ended up catching my finger pretty good and another one caught my hand pretty good. I ended up with like four cuts after doing all of these just from the lips of where the resin meets the silicone creating sharp edges. It was kind of rough. <laughs> Here I'm just trying to pull it down and it's not wanting to go. It's like, no. It's mine now. I'm trying to figure out how to do it without tearing up my mold. Because something like, first time you're using a mold, I'm always worried about that. So, I'm trying to be like extra careful. I'm just like, maybe if I roll it down. That method seemed to work pretty good on this one. Just rolling it down. It did turn out more blue than what my plan was, but it's really pretty, so. And I love blue, so it works. I'm totally fine with that. Yeah, I'm just trying to finish pulling it down so then I can pop the seal on the inside. I'm just gonna trying to turn and twist it so it pops the seal in there. And what's loose, so I'm just yank it out. There we go. Now we have our container part. It's so cute. And the way the mold is made, the lip, the lid already has a lip, so it goes on the container and stays in spot. It doesn't like slide off and you could probably make it if you do it hard enough but it has a lip to where it stays where it's supposed to be I thought it turned out really cute really pretty so here I'm just showing you how it's supposed to go and like I said the skull is my extra little touch that I wanted to add and that's where it would go well kind of it fell off a little bit Alright, so now I'm going to show you how I decided to finish the bottom of these. So this is some, um, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's a, I got it from Amazon. And it's this material, it's used in jewelry boxes, I do know that. And it's like a sticker sheet, but it's like this fuzzy, almost velvet material. It's super thin though. And it's used in jewelry boxes. It can be used on like anything that you're going to have like on a table or a surface that could get scratched up you can put this on whatever you're gonna set on top of it and so beans I want these to sit on a tray made of resin but I don't want the resin tray to get scratched up either I thought this would be the perfect 
thing to put on the bottom of these to keep them from scratching the resin. Even though they are resin, they can still scratch resin. So this is self adhesive, so I just kind of stick it down, rub it on there, make sure it's real nice and on there. Make sure there's no air bubbles, and then I take scissors and this one I have to trim off the extra, and then I'll go in and get a closer cut. And here I take the razor and I try to figure out if I can do it that way and it turns out it's not very successful and so you'll see me take the scissors out in a second now doing this you have to be very careful especially if you use a razor like I did you could cut yourself I was very careful I gotta be very careful with the scissors as well because they are sharp as well of course so here I just cut off the majority of the extra to make it easier to see what I'm doing and get close in there with that blade. Plus the less extra you have, the the easier time the razor blade seems to have. I don't know why. So there's that. There's me just cleaning off the sticky mess. Now I'll flip back over and take that blade and just kind of trim right around the edge. And I'm off camera for a lot of that. So I'm just going to take this and go right around the edge. Okay, so I sped through the last part of this because you can barely see what I'm doing anyways. thought I would speed it up and make it a little bit quicker for you guys. As so I just go through and whip through, trimming that up, get it nice and close to the edge so it looks nice and clean. The shape of this one makes it a little bit tougher, but not too bad. And this material is like, it's gonna help keep the resin looking better longer. All right, and on to the finished product. Look, all right, look at this. It is gorgeous. It is amazing. The rhinestones are just sparkling like crazy in the sunlight. So this turned out absolutely gorgeous. Let me know down below what you think of this project. If you like videos like this, please hit the like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.